Missouri is seeing another jump in new COVID-19 cases. The state is reporting more than 1,200 new cases since Tuesday. Kansas is reporting 723 new cases since Monday. Both states are seeing an increase in the seven-day moving average of the positivity rate. It's one of the best ways to track the spread of the virus. Kansas is up to 13.4%. Missouri is at 10.6%. The national average is at 6.5%. School districts in Johnson County are considering how students can safely return to class this fall. Last night in the Blue Valley District, school board members didn't make any changes to school reopening plans for next month, but they did decide to now follow the state's criteria for opening and not the counties. KNBC 9's Emily Hallwick spoke with Johnson County's health director about why he says the county isn't ready for in-person learning. As schools weigh whether to return to in-person learning, Johnson County's health director has a warning. Really, no matter how you look at the data, the numbers are high. In the last two weeks, more than 11 percent of COVID-19 tests have come back positive in Johnson County. Dr. Sanmi Ariola says that's a red flag for schools. If it's consistent with the rate of infection that we see in the county, 10, 11 percent, then you, you should assume that 10 to 11 percent of people coming in are probably infected. On Tuesday, the Blue Valley School Board voted to follow state criteria instead of the counties since the state looks at more data points, including hospital capacity and school absentee rates, in addition to positivity rates and trends. The board also says the state's criteria allows for greater flexibility and that they'll look at hyper-local data to make decisions. Dr. Ariola says if schools choose to return in person with the current county infection rate... There are people from the first day of going to school who are going to be introducing the virus into these buildings. He knows these are difficult decisions, but says the focus must be on the transmission rate. Right now it's pretty high, and uh, the higher it is, the bigger the risk. Emily Hallwick, KMBC 9 News. The Blue Valley School Board plans to meet again this week and continue talking about any possible changes to the district's reopening plans. Shawnee Mission is trying to come up with a plan for high school sports. KNBC 9 News stopped by Shawnee Mission North High School today and found the football team practicing on the field. The last day for school activities will be Friday since the county health department's red zone designation calls for no in-person sports. The district says if it's possible to restart fall sports, if it, uh, it's working with other districts to ask the state high school activities association for permission to move fall sports and activities to the spring. New at four, a cluster of COVID-19 cases is being reported at, Kansas, at a Kansas State fraternity. 13 confirmed cases in all at the Phi Delta Theta House. The Riley County Health Department has been in contact. Fraternity members have been instructed to deep clean and members must quarantine for 14 days if they were in contact with a positive case. The fall semester started Monday in Manhattan. 2,500 wrestlers from across 40 states are expected to be in Kansas City, Missouri this weekend. We are getting a reaction from the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department and the director about plans to keep the event safe. KNBC 9's Kelly Gibbs is live at Hy-Vee Arena. Kelly? Yeah, well, we just heard, Laura, that High V Arena hosting the Rocky Mountain Nationals this weekend. Now, that event is set to kick off on Friday with 2,500 students ranging in age from kindergarten all the way to high school. Now, Dr. Rex Archer, he is the director of the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department. He says several safety protocols for the tournament, including a 2,500 person spectator limit, hand wipes and sanitizers at every mat table and face mask requirements for everyone will be in place. Now, those face masks are also a requirement for the wrestlers. Dr. Archer says this event was planned a while ago while local coronavirus cases were much lower. And while he's hopeful everyone will be in compliance with these safety protocols, if that's not the case, he says he has no problem shutting this event down. One of the fortunate things is, um, you know, I, I can retire tomorrow. Um, pressure doesn't impact me. Um, I make a decision based on the health of the population um, and what we have the legal ability to do. Um, where it gets a little tricky, which it got in this situation, is that technically it's allowable under the mayor's order, but probably not advisable. And this event again is set to kick off on Friday. It will wrap up on Sunday. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kelly Gibbs, KMBC 9 News.
Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain Nationals holds wrestling tournaments across the country, and according to its website, only one has been canceled so far. That was a tournament in San Diego. A Kansas City, Missouri business is ordered to shut down for violating the city's mask order. The city health department has issued a notice of suspension at U-Haul Moving and Storage on Blue Ridge Boulevard. The city says it received multiple complaints about staff and customers not wearing masks. Kansas City, Missouri is under a state of emergency and masks must be worn in public buildings. City leaders say the plan, they plan to meet with U-Haul. We reached out to the business but haven't heard back. We will continue to follow the latest developments surrounding the coronavirus and you can see the latest information on air, online and on our KMBC 9 app.